Howdy y'all, this is your host, Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're continuing our Spongebob uh, Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated Adventure today. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We are about to go into the next area. I'm assuming it's the area with Sandy because the big glass dome. So let's find out. And eyes of jelly! My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! <laughs> and his challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! It's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. The Poseidon. Great Barrier Reef! Dude, it's fast. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Now the robot's taking a beating out there! The robot better change tactics and fast! I wanna play! I wanna play! Captain, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Bounce and throw the head. Spelling the old clothesline move. Oh. I got stuck on your leg. Losing its head. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. What a shocking takedown by Patrick. <laughs> Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. Oh no. That messes with my eyes, it's hard to see. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match. Your turn, SpongeBob. Oh. Ah. Uh, we. Oh, we. Bounce and bash the head. Oh! Ow! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. Spelling the old clothesline Ow. move. Oh, it's one jump. Okay. Oh, what an uppercut! Yeah, I'm almost dead. SpongeBob, this match is just about over. That robot is down and staying down. Whee. What an upset here at the Poseidon. Well, <laughs> it was quite a battle. 
Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. No. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> I trust you. Hurry up. I trust you. You wouldn't lie to me. So we can't get a same as us. Bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Bolo Rapa. That's cool. Golden underwear. Flash, sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. Fresh like a spring breeze. Uh, I see so much. I... There's a lot going on here. But I can enter the rest home. I love opening presents. It shines. Your treasure chests look... All right. Can't go in the chum bucket yet. We're gonna go visit Sandy here in a second. And um, there's a police station. All right, we're gonna go visit Sandy first. Police station. Retire at home. How's it my fault? You just met the sponge in Acre. Just my side. All righty then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. SpongeBob, you looked better. Stop your yapping and let. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. Out.
Alright, I guess it's everything in Sandy's house. <laughs> Patrick's looking in. Alright, we'll do the police station next. What would I even be able to do with this? I'm rollerific. There's like nowhere to go with this. Yeah, there's literally nowhere to go with the ball. This is robot viewer. Step on the middle square in front of the viewer to activate it. You can use viewer to read case files of captured robots. That's cool, Sheriff looking. <laughs> Alright, I thought there had been more in here. Back up here to see. So, like, I can see there's something on the chum bucket that's across the fence. There's underwear. Like, I'm legitly- I don't see anything else over here. I see no purpose for the ball. Alright, let's go talk to the old folks home. Mermaid Man should be in here. Don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Good be. Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? No, oh boy, what? I okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making- Absolutely, Bart! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Too pretty. Can't take it! No witnesses. a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now! I'll crush you all beneath my... And now, back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Oh, no. Enter. Yeah. Top secret. Nah, 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 Batman. Nice. 
I hit that from here? That was stupid. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps. All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up. Young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. It really is how it is. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Oh, what? <laughs> All right, let's get that going. It's not just any sponge, it's super sponge. Don't step on the red squares of the disco floor. Oh, did not realize y'all would come back. Why is this so hard? There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Robot named Al. Use Bubble Bowl to defeat him. Party is bubble bowl to defeat him when he's on a much higher level of ground than I am. Oh, 
All right. Maybe that was how I was supposed to get over there. Bobo can also press buttons. I don't... what? I don't get what the car was for. Is there buttons to be pushed here? I see this one. I don't see what that goes to. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I'm definitely missing something. I'm gonna go on for now. The Mermelair. Secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. All right. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and that Never m Oh, there's a... What's a... Patrick. Um, there's multiple things going on here. Like most of our money. What is this? What is this? Thank you, we have to walk back. No! I think all of this is Patrick. I got a job for somebody who can throw things! Leave it to us! I'm great at throwing things! All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. 
throw, throw. No, throw the throw. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I. All right. We got two of the three. Is that all of them? I don't see any more. more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, all right. what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. I pushed the big shiny button. So what do I do with this? Oh. Not what so I just did. Shiny. Hey, this is mine. Um, how do I get back where I just was? I went the wrong way. Oops. Oops. Oh, oh, don't blow up on me, don't blow up on me. That turns most of those. Closer. No, we don't want that.
Are they not turned the right way now? Oh, am I supposed to get them turned inward? I was trying to turn them all outward. the thing didn't explode or take forever to explode. Got it back to where it's just one. Not what I was trying to do. This is a pain in the butt. my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Please. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, so that takes us down. Is there anything else up here? Peter totter up front. I'm supposed to get up this. Um, I don't think I was supposed to get over here. Yeah. As long as these pants are square, oh, put this me up top. Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. Nice. 
In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Return here! Got it! Are you listening to- Listening! Got it! Security tunnel. Press the master shutdown button to lower. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be able to get over here. Oops. Oh well. Gary, I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Meow. Oh, you took the elevator. How do I get to the top of this room? You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. With that, we're going to call it an episode because it's been one crazy episode. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Peace.